Each Micronics portable flow meter has a dedicated case that contains the following. The Micronics flow meter, either one or two sets of sensors depending on the model, a set of guide rails, grease, a set of cables, chains to attach the guide rails and a charger. First steps begin with how to program the flow meter. When programming the unit, you need to know the pipe outside diameter, the wall thickness, the pipe lining thickness if required, and the temperature of the application. To begin the procedure, switch the unit on by pressing the power key and press enter to get to the main menu. Select quick start and follow the on-screen menu to program the unit. Select either millimeters or inches and press enter. Enter the outside diameter of the pipe. Then enter the pipe wall thickness, the pipe lining thickness if appropriate, the pipe material, the type of fluid, and the temperature. With all the data entered, the unit calculates which sensors to use and the separation distance to set them on the pipe, in this case to 76 mm, ensuring that the right type of sensor is selected. In this case, a standard for the standard sensors for pipe sizes 13 to 115 mm. Depending on the information entered, you may need to use other sensors if available for other pipe ranges. B standard sensors are for a pipe range 50 to 2000 mm. Now we need to set up the guide rail and the ruler. Slide the ruler into the guide rail and position it at zero, tightening up the screws to ensure no movement. Depending on the pipe size and separation distance calculated, you may need to attach the ruler extension. Take the second guide rail and position this at the other end of the ruler at the separation distance calculated by the unit, tightening up the screws. Once you've set the ruler up, you now need to attach it to the pipe with the chains. Take care when mounting sensors close to bends, valves and other disturbances, as this could produce unstable results. On horizontal pipe applications, take care not to attach the guide rail or sensors on the top or bottom of the pipe, in case of air being trapped at the top or sediment at the bottom of the pipe. We recommend placing on the side of the pipe at 2 o'clock. Attach the first chain to the tension bar and tighten. Followed by attaching the second chain to the tension bar and tightening, ensuring there is no movement. The mode of operation just demonstrated is called reflex mode. On large pipes and potentially difficult applications, we may need to set up the sensors in diagonal mode to improve signal levels. For diagonal mode operation, press scroll and select sensor mode. Press enter and select diagonal mode. Scroll down to exit and press enter. The following animation explains how to set up the sensors in diagonal mode. Attach the first guide rail to the pipe as normal. Put the front edge of the sensor centered at the point where line A and line B meet. Attach the ruler and the second guide rail at the separation distance for the diagonal mode as calculated by the flow meter. Measure from line B to halfway around the pipe, keeping the chain and ruler straight. Draw a line halfway around the pipe and mark. Remove the ruler, slacken the chain and slip the guide rail around so the center of the rail is central to the mark. Tighten the chain and insert the other sensor. To check, measure the distance from the front of the second sensor to line A. Next we take the two appropriate sensors and grease each one on the face. Then insert each sensor into the guide rail and fix in position by tightening the screws. Once the sensors are installed, Connect the blue cable to the downstream sensor in the flow meter and the red cable to the upstream sensor in the flow meter. The successful installation of the cables and sensors means that once you press the enter button again, the flow meter will search for the best signal and begin to measure the flow. Please visit our website micronicsflowmeters.com for further information.